This is the guts of a Universal Cooperative's Super 2000 electric fence uh, control or controller. Inside, fairly simple. There's a um, this, which is the mains cord in, goes to a pair of fuse holders. Each of which has a one ampere fuse in it. Then there's this red thing, which is a metal oxide varistor for uh, surge suppression. Since given the applications in which thing, in which this is likely to be used, uh, lightning transients are a um, big problem. And thus there's varistor to avoid that frying the device. There's a 500 ohm 10 watt um, wire round uh, ceramic resistor for um, inverse current limiting and anti-short circuit protection which I will get to in a, mo in a bit what well, needs that the main control board which is just some capacitors, resistors and a um, silicon controlled rectifier and programmable unijunction transistor SCR is this uh, the programmable unijunction transistor is the um, Q92 package device down there and this, which is the pulse transformer, it's just a much, much beefier version of a um, something you can find for a, um, a trigger transformer for a Xenon Flash, for example. Those which are typically these little tiny things. This, which is, for the perspective of my uh, fist, it's um, big. And there's this, which is the current limiting resistor for the uh, front panel. Indicator amp. As you see on it, it says that it needs an external resistor. Because otherwise, if you hook that up directly to mains, it would um, pop instantly. The um, ceramic bushing insulator for uh, the output. And this neon lamp, which I presume is for um, some kind of a transient limitation in the event of a short circuited output. Because when the output is short circuited, this uh, device makes a fairly substantial pop more than just the magnet restriction of the pulse transformer. And that's this lamp firing over, and as you can see, it's done it a number of times. As I opened this thing up early, early last summer to do a gets video of it, but didn't because um, I didn't have a, a camera that could take good macro shots and have good audio, so that uh, never got uploaded. But this was nowhere near as um, blackened as it is now, so I might see about trying to find a replacement for that if I can find out what lamp it is, because due to condensation and whatnot, I think do or something, this thing had a tendency to have a somewhat short-circuited, uh, or the f or the electric fence was short circuit at night. So, I don't know, that's something for future investigation. Anyways, the way that this uh, device works... I've got the schematic all prepared. Is that the mains input comes in there, it goes through the 500 ohm resistor and a 1 in 4007 rectifier and charges up the 60 microfarad nonpolar electrolytic capacitor. Reason, or, or bipolar electrolytic. The reason that is, is because due to the nature of the circuit, there's a good chance of ringing from the transformer primary, <coughs> short circuiting. Or no, reverse biasing this electrolytic capacitor, which could uh, fry it if it were conventional, like for now, um, like for example, if it were something like this, which is a 68 microfarad, 250 volt, conventional electrolytic, which is polarized, which means if you hook this up the wrong way around, it will explode, which would be bad. I'm making out the size difference because this one has a lower operating potential and a lower capacitance, or the bipolar one in the end, it's substantially bigger due to the construction nature of the thing. And they're also usually somewhat more expensive. So there's so the fact that this is in here means that there's a need for it. But anyway, the way the circuit works is that couldn't figure out exactly what the high high potential side of it looks like, so that's just left blank. But at least the way the transformer drive circuit works is that the um, 470 nanofarad capacitor, which is the um, yellow one down there. It is charged up through a pair of 3,300,000 ohm resistors. Which is what this, the um, unijunction transistor uses to supply the um, gate drive for the SCR. Then the 
gate of the unijunction transistor is connected to a potential divider formed by a 100,000 ohm resistor and a 330,000 ohm resistor across the mains input or the rectified DC supply inside the thing which means that when the capacitor charges up to a certain level that um, activates the um, or, or turns on the uh, unijunction transistor which discharges the 4 to 7 email farad capacitor <coughs> into the gate of the SCR, they're short circuiting the um, DC supply in the thing, which is why the 500 ohm resistor is needed, otherwise, it would pop the fuse instantly. And what that does is that then discharges the capacitor through the um, through the um, primary of the trigger trans of the pulse transformer. And of course, what does that? Of course, it discharges the 470 nanofarad capacitor and um, takes away the gate drive for the um, UJ, for the uh, UJT. Then there's this circuit, which consists of a two ohm resistor that and this device, which is some kind of diode, but I couldn't find any information on it because I couldn't see the full part number. It's a um, MR40 something don't know whether or not there's characters in there if it's just blank and 5 but MR405 I couldn't find anything but I'd imagine that some kind of ultra fast rectifier or something for ringing suppression to avoid frying uh, the um, UJT and stuff like that but don't know exactly what all that does but although uh, somewhat interesting device and of course all through hole And um, one modification I did make to this is I did add a front panel switch so that the thing could be shut off, so that the garden could be easily accessed. What I'm going to do is um, wire broke while I was opening up the thing, but um, what I'm going to do is um, modify it so that this rectifier is connected across the, um, or the, no, the, the the power resistor is connected across the capacitor when the thing is. Um, shut off because otherwise due to the residual charge on this capacitor it can keep firing for uh, up to a minute after it's shut off and still produce a fairly nasty shock so but then again these are just mods that are being made to improve the usability of this for it for this application or for what we need it for <laughs>